Good evening and a warm welcome to Empowering You for Victory. Moen and I send our fondest love greetings to you all and your families. Tonight I want to share for a few minutes on protecting shield faith. Protecting shield faith. And I want to read from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 13 to verse 17. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Wow, isn't that wonderful? That even in the evil day we can withstand, and having done all, we're still standing. That's God's plan for your life, that evil will never overtake righteousness. And as long as you are serving God, you're going to stand in the evil day. But it says, how are you going to stand? You stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, having on the breastplate of righteousness, your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. And this is the scripture I want to focus on. Above all, above all, all taking the shield of faith wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit which is the word of god praise god for his word a shield was a defensive weapon now faith is both offensive and defensive. When we speak the word of faith against the devil, the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, the sword of the spirit is sharper than any two-edged sword. And so it pierces even Satan. However, what we are focusing on tonight is the shield of faith. Now, there's different aspects to this armor. And all this armor represents Jesus Christ that we need to be clothed in. Jesus is in us, and we need to be clothed also with Jesus. It's the armor of God. Every part of this armor speaks of Jesus. But there is the defensive part of faith where the Bible says, above all. You see, if you're only offensive and there's no defense mechanism or you're not protected, you can perish in your advancement. God has designed faith for us to advance, but he's also designed faith for our protection. And it is so important, the protection of the shield of faith, that the Bible says it's above all. Now, we're not undermining or underplaying any part of the armor, but we are zeroing in on the word of God. It says above all. In other words, if you get knocked out of the race, you are over, friends. You're going home. If you die prematurely, you cannot fulfill God's purposes for your life on the earth. You will go to heaven, and we thank God for that. But our heart's desires is that we will live out our allotted lifespan with a long life God satisfies us and shows us our salvation. It is his salvation. It becomes our salvation. And that is why God is saying he's very interested in your protection. You must see that, that faith links you to God. And yeah, it's saying above all, never go into your day, never embark on a project without understanding that Satan can throw fiery darts at you. Now, a fiery dart, it actually means that the, the point of that dart is burning hot with fire. And that dart penetrates. And so when it 
penetrates. It'll bring the heat, satanic heat, into your life. And, and, and you're going to have to quench those thoughts. The only thing that can quench that is the shield of faith. Above all, you're going to have to take the shield of faith. It's not going to work if you don't take it. So above all things, you're going to have to take it now. And you're going to have to take the shield of faith. And then you're going to know wherewith, why are you taking it? You shall be able, you shall be able because you're going to become skilled in quenching the fiery darts of the wicked one. So how do we take the shield of faith? You use the word of God to nullify the attacks of Satan. You nullify what he's trying to judge you with. He's trying to make you feel guilty. He's trying to make you feel weak. He's trying to make you think you won't make it. Isaiah chapter 54 and verse 17 is a key verse of scripture that I hold on to. And I want you to hold on to it too. And make it a key verse of scripture in taking the shield of faith. I pray that scripture every day. No weapon, a fiery dart is a weapon. No weapon formed against you. Now, a fiery dart can be sickness. A fiery dart can be poverty. A fiery dart can be a breakdown in relationship. It's all the fiery darts of the devil. And he's aiming them at you. But no weapon declares the word of the Lord. And that word becomes law. He stands by his word to perform it when we believe it. No weapon formed against you. does get formed, but no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. It will not succeed. Every tongue, the works of the devil, the things he speaks, you are aware of that inward voice within you that's always trying to speak negative things within you and that voice in your mind which is not the word of God and it's not the word from the word of God. It's from the devil. And so you are aware of these thoughts that come into your life. You take the shield of faith. Above all things, you quench the fiery dart. So how you put this off, you speak it with your mouth. That's how you take the shield of faith. You've got to believe it in your heart and you've got to speak it with your mouth. That is how faith works. You believe in your heart, you speak it with your mouth. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Say that. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Say this, every tongue that riseth up against me, I condemn it in the name of Jesus. Say it again, every tongue. You see, everything has got words. Sickness has words. Poverty has got words. So these are the tongues, the, the words from Satan that he speaks. Every tongue that riseth up against me, say that, every tongue that riseth up against me, I condemn it in Jesus' name. Then Isaiah 54 and verse 17. And this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Meaning, this is our inheritance. God has given us. And then God says, And their righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. So you understand that this taking the shield of faith is for those that are skilled in the word of righteousness. And you understand you are the righteousness of God. So when you speak from a position of righteousness, the devil does not know you are speaking or God is speaking. Because it has the same authority and same power that God has that is given to you. Your righteousness is of the Lord. God has actually declared that. God has spoken it. That is law. 
You are the righteousness of God. So when you condemn every word that has been spoken against you, you are using the shield of faith and you're quenching every fiery dart of the wicked one. Friends, we are in a war. It's a kingdom of God and the kingdom of darkness. But the kingdom of God is overcoming the kingdom of darkness and we're pushing back the powers of darkness in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus. Use the name of Jesus as well to cast out devils. Use the word of God to overcome the tests and tribulations. God richly bless you. Allow me to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for all our online viewers. I thank you, Lord Jesus, for protecting shield faith, that when we speak the word from a heart of righteousness, from a heart that believes with the righteousness of God, then it is the same as you are addressing the devil. And we thank you today. I speak that over every one of our online viewers. That no weapon formed against any of you shall prosper. Make it form, but it won't prosper. It won't work. Every tongue that has risen up against you in judgment, we condemn it now. We bring it extinct. It cannot continue in the name of Jesus because God declared to every one of his people, your righteousness is of God. We bless you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. God richly bless every one of you. And I will see you tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Bye-bye.